All the kitties are present and accounted for. We've got another beautiful sunny day, fall day. High of like 62, sunny. The house is looking excellent. Don and I realized we wanted to leave Blake a nice um, review, but we need to take a, we got a before picture, but we need an after picture. Especially down here on this end of the house. This is where the before picture really showed up because, you know, we hadn't fussed with it at all. So, Don will be out to do that. <laughs> Alright, water's refreshed. And uh, everything is looking good this morning. Hi. Was that your good morning to everybody? Good boy. Good boy. Hi. Hi. Definitely some more leaves coming down. Yeah, we did order another six pack of the lights with eight being down there so far and probably around this curve here. Um, I know the canna lily leaves are fixing to brown out for the winter, but they don't do that super fast. And they would be really pretty illuminated and, you know, especially with Christmas coming up. We'll see. Hi, sweetie pea. How are you? Good morning. Don's got a conference call. He's reminding him. I don't know how we could go back to living without reminders and alarms. Hi. Hello, sweet pea. Hi. Don and I are back on the saddle today, walking up here at South Park in the pretty sunshine. There's a little bit of a breeze, but um, it's pretty comfortable out here. Apparently can't complain about this for a day in November. Still got some pretty color, too. That's just ridiculous. If I was the town, I'd close the court until the kids came and cleaned up the court. It's not perfect, but we picked up at least 100 pieces of trash or food, filled that entire bag. Entire bag. Don's still on his call. Uh, nothing bad, but it has gone longer than he anticipated this morning. But I feel blessed that he's willing to come up here and take it while he's walking and that he can do that. It has that option. Doesn't need to be at his computer for the call. Um, the town guys are over at the splash pad bathrooms because there's two bathrooms here. There's one in the building there behind the you know, home plate in both fields. That building houses the scoring and bathrooms and a little concession stand. And then same thing sort of repeated over at the splash pad except for no scoring area, just the ticket sales. Anyway, the town is in there making repairs. Um, the kids, the ball field bathroom, they tore one of the sinks off the wall this week. And then the other bathroom there by the splash pad where they're working, they did graffiti and wet toilet tissue and threw toilet tissue all up on the ceiling to stick to the ceiling and they said it's pretty bad. <laughs> it took them a good party yesterday to fix the sink and now they're over here trying to address the other bathroom and it's like, I just told them, we, we agreed, you gotta let kids make mistakes and you gotta let kids have reasonable consequences or mista for mistakes. and. We've turned into this society of mistakes aren't allowed and, you know, no consequences because we'll offend somebody. And um, I'd like to see kids out here picking up trash for an hour a couple times a week so they learn what it's like to have to pick up after others and get motivated not to, um, not to trash things in the first place. Or they can apprentice with the guy fixing the sink and learn a skill and help repair the damage they did. I'm not interested in some monetary fine their parents pay or anything like that. 
anyway I told the guys I appreciated that that we had bathrooms up here because sometimes when you need it you need it and thank them for fixing it and told them I was sorry they had to deal with that and all the conversation started because I picked up candy and crap off the ground at the basketball court I really needed to wash my hands it was worse today than normal and um, they had the power off the one guy held the door for me while I washed my hands which I really appreciated I know some people would have on gloves out here but I just don't feel that's necessary I don't usually pick up glass or objects that could puncture my skin and I'm pretty good about washing my hands pretty quick and most of the time it's you know not bad like it was today huh my battery's dying anyway I'm just you know discouraged dealing with this uh, mess today I'd like to come and walk at the park and not see a bunch of trash that needs handled and the guy that does the trash for the town he doesn't have two hours to spend over here Thank you, Ruby. Yeah, I think all that happened last week was um, Don had just opened it and there's like a five minute delay before it does it again. I'm having a interesting glitch. I've put in, um, you know, the address of the chiropractor and I'm driving down the road, obviously. And the car's navigation thinks I need to start driving. Like she still thinks I'm in my driveway like I'm not moving I've never seen this before I ended the trip and picked the favorite again picked the address again and same thing so that didn't fix it I'm sure I could reboot um, I don't have a lot of cell signal you can kind of see that in the upper right the LTE is not fully but I, I mean even when I have the car knew I was moving so um, I've got plenty of straight road here. I guess I guess it's the every Tuesday reboot time. It's not a big deal, but it's just weird. Thought I'd seen it all. Apparently not. Or right when I stopped recording, it figured out I was moving and started doing what it's supposed to do. So, okay. Well, that was a... I might have switched cell towers. Maybe I really... I don't know. But it's... um doing something now it's not like I need directions to this place but if I want to use full self-driving or I want to know what my arrival time is it's quite helpful to have the navigation up there right I don't navigate in this case because I need the directions there's a white three in the parking lot today We pulse my lower back. You know, she always asks me what I want to do. Um, I wouldn't have minded it on my left knee, but um, back has just been a priority lately, and knee has been okay. So hopefully, I'm good to go for another week. I've got time for a quick week at the good, a quick peek at the Goodwill feeling motivated to run in today to look not as crowded as last week which is good I didn't find anything today considered one or two things and the prices just weren't as good as what I've been seeing in there so not today uh, Nero from Carvana eco hybrid I'm parked down here by the pretty blue bolt that doesn't move normally while I'm here there's all of that restoration stuff over there on the far end. There was just no parking over there. I'd like to have the bolt spot next to the stripes, but I'm pretty happy where I am. And still a little walk into the store. Not quite as far as usual. I did see a few Teslas in the Hertz fleet over there, but didn't uh, scrutinize for a long time today. That's a nice Ray Dunn piece. I don't usually see it except in white and that's pink. Um, I'm not going to take it, but I like it. I really like that tray and it's only $3, but 
I have trays and I have extra trays and I can't justify that either. Sadly, no Lego except for these Duplos. I'll get this cute mermaid ornament for Michelle. Oh, here's the Christmas black kitty again. And it's another, it's got to be a small, it's so small. Darn it, darn it. I was about to leave the parking lot and remembered I need a couple things from Food Lion. Oh, they've closed some of the spots up here at the front of the store um, to make room for Christmas trees. The parking lot's a lot more full than normal and I was trying to figure out what was going on because Thanksgiving week's next week. I won't even come up here by myself next week. Donna have to drive and drop me off. Uh, because you can't normally park in this parking lot. You have to go someplace else. There's, um, they're full at the top of the hill straight ahead where I usually park and where it's usually not full. And then on top of that, there's um, this big truck over here taking up five or six spaces. So I guess I'm gonna back in here. Fresh boxwood. Over here, they've done a spot for trees, but they don't have the trees yet. Um, yeah, I didn't film on the way in. I'll tell you about it in the car. There's a blue Model X. Trying to get the AC to calm down. Pushed it up to 74. It's only 66 out there and it wasn't that warm in the car to begin with. Maybe off is what I really need. <laughs> Don't take away any more of my heat. Yeah, so I was backing into the parking space essentially across the way behind me and then someone pulled out of here and I thought with the light pole, there's a cement pole there, this spot might be more preferred because people can't pull through next to me. Anyway, um, there was a man in the parking lot and he was approaching people as they were putting in the groceries into their car getting out of their car to go in the store and it seemed to be mostly women that were by themselves and um he made me uncomfortable i was situationally aware and head on a swivel <laughs> watching him i've been reading listening to too many audible books um anyway so i let him see that i snapped his picture with my phone you know in the landscape position or whatever holding it up finger him it's pretty obvious you're taking a picture right and he still approached me and asked me if i could help him with groceries and if he really needed help i feel sorry for him but there's lots of places to go and asking around in the whole foods parking lot is not one of them and so um and i especially don't like it when it's guys and they seem to be targeting women that are shopping alone it just it seemed off to me so i walked in and then i mentioned it to the people at the service desk and let them decide what if anything they wanted to do and i ha did not see him when i came out i'm sitting here my doors are locked um if i hang out in the car i usually put on the backup camera and i you know intentionally lock the doors so anyway i didn't film on the way in because i was paying attention to what was going on in the parking lot and um still very busy today but i've got what i need and i've had my snack and i am headed to the house now well i'm gonna work on my um christmas mansion a bit i was studying where the floor tiles go it's going to be brown floor red, the reddish brown brick color um for the chairs and where the fireplace is and where the tree goes and i want to make a few additions and changes so i created um a three picture collage of various things so I could tell where stuff goes and I want to try to lay that out. My brick order's not here. I was waiting for a few nice new reddish brown tiles but I can start the outer wall and put the studs for where the furniture goes and sort that all out and uh, my handy helper's here. She says mom you were gone most of the day and I really missed you. At night, while I'm watching TV, especially this time of year, she's up on my chest a lot. And then she sleeps on my pillow, basically, at night. So if I set her off to the side for a few minutes to work on bricks, I'm not going to feel super guilty, but I've tried to make it up to her. Tried to make it up to you. She's a good girl. 
So here are the three steps out of the instructions. Um, the floor, just all the floor pieces laid, showing the placement of the bookshelf, the two chairs, then the placement of the tree. And I just want to put a little table here, and I want to put two or three presents out here. Um, be nice to have a lamp, too, for the chairs. So anyway, I can tell from where these studs are, where studs have to go, and what I want to do. And then... I'll get the studs down in the brown, and when the um, new floor tiles come tomorrow, I'll set them. And I'm going to start on the wall. It's just these gray bricks. As long as I don't go too high, I can build the fireplace and put the door on. As long as I don't um, go too high, I won't have any problem putting the rest of the floor in. Well, I did end up getting all of the reddish brown floor installed. And... Um, I added the two presents, the lamp, and a couple places for people to stand in there. And other than that, it's what they called for. And I'll be building up more walls tomorrow. And um, i got to find a shovel for the bucket beside the fireplace. I'm sure I have one. It's just, where do I have one? Um, I'm pleased with how it's coming out and it fit in there and I got to add a couple of presents and it's all good.